Since COVID first arrived, more reinfections are being reported. And as we navigate the sixth wave and an unprecedented number of cases, we take a look at the risk factors of getting COVID a second time. We know reinfection with Omicron is really common if you've had the previous variants. In its latest report, Public Health Ontario is warning the risk of reinfection from Omicron is high, but infectious disease expert Dr. Gerald Evans tells me the highest risk is for those who first tested positive in the pre-Omicron era. Omicron was so different from Alpha, Delta and the ancestral variants that um, really having had a previous infection and even having had a previous infection plus vaccine wasn't going to protect you uh, very well against Omicron. Are people who were first infected with Omicron, you know, during the winter, maybe December, January, February, are we seeing reinfections of those people now? Is that happening? From what we can tell, it's a very small number. Most of the infections that are popping up now uh, are not necessarily reinfections from BA1, but there are reinfections from Alpha and Delta. There are going to be reinfections to people who've only had two doses. According to Ontario Public Health, nearly 12,000 people have gotten COVID-19 twice since November of 2020, and that's out of many millions of cases. Right now, the more transmissible Omicron subvariant BA2 is a dominant strain in the province, but Dr. Evans says at this point, the data on multiple Omicron infections is still Limited. The big question that's out there now is what about BA2 and BA1? So what we know from the Denmark data is that actually infection with BA2 after having had BA1, so both of them are Omicron sublineages, uh, was actually relatively uncommon. Now I don't think people should be overtly worried. But uh, yes, it does happen and it can happen. Experts say those who are fully vaccinated and boosted have the best chance of avoiding reinfection. When it comes to unvaccinated children who may have gotten an Omicron infection, you know, back in the winter, um, no vaccines, one infection, it's been, you know, three months now, are they at risk of being reinfected? It's a great question. We don't know the answer that's going to be looked at almost certainly, uh, especially within the context of the vaccine study. Dr. Evans says we could be seeing more reinfections as third dose immunity starts to wane. He's encouraging people to get boosted and to keep up with public health measures. Shauna Hunt, City News.